Hi there, it's Moira McDonald. Right, um, we as a team, that's you and I, are going to embark on a new wee project, um, which is basically, hold on while I try to get sitting down, um, our new wee project is going to be, we're going to make a junk journal, quite a normal wee, run of the middle, one signature junk journal uh, with accompanying ephemera, and we are going to try and uh, basically clear all the wee bits and bobs that are lying on my desk. So, uh, what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to make this, uh, this is not the junk journal, uh, this is going to be a little additional book that will be added to the junk journal. Um, I had a lot of little bits of paper that's been cut off from a variety of things I've done. So the first thing I want to do is I want to attach this wee bit of fabric to this wee bit of paper to be the first page in my wee book. Now, I'm not very good at the sewing, as we all know. I repeatedly tell you that, and you just don't listen. I still do it. Um, but we're going to try and attach this little bit of paper. Uh, sorry, this picture, which is on fabric, to this book that I'm going to make. Now the wee book is going to be a wee extra piece of ephemera for within the junk journal, so here's hoping this works, eh? If it does now, you don't see this video. Right. Um, bear with me because I need to concentrate. It'd really good if I didn't have that much stuff in my desk that it's all falling on me as I try to do things. But I suppose that's my fault. Other people have machines that seem to stop when the needle rolls down. Mine's doesn't, right? I don't know if I just bought a cheap machine or what, but mine's doesn't seem to do that. It's a brother. Uh, brother LS14. It was quite basic. I think it was the cheapest one I could get. It was a real grown-up machine as opposed to the, the kiddies ones I had been looking at. But I figured they would break. If there is a secret button you can press that makes the needle stay down, perhaps someone could tell me what it is, because I don't know. I haven't found it yet. It took me all my time to discover that you could backstitch, and that was only by accident. I was watching Aaliyah making a video one day and she did something about backstitching. <laughs> I had a look at my machine and I thought, oh, I can do that. Mm. Sums it up, really. I'm just not, uh, I'm not a seamstress by any stretch of the imagination. Oops. The whoops is me knocking down all the wee women I've cut out. Oh, for goodness sake, just a minute. Sorry, that's my ringtone. <laughs> I don't have the best hearing in the world, right? And it tends to be the case that if my phone's in my bag, it's really quite smart to try and make your ringtone reasonably loud. Uh, so I do. And I, you know, if, if, if you know anything about me, it may well be the fact that I um, really like wrestling. And that is the theme tune of uh, a lassie, a Japanese lassie called Kairi Sane, who wrestles at WWE. And she is the pirate princess. Uh, she's one of my favourites. I really like Kairi Sane. Um, so she's my ringtone this month. My ringtone changes just about every month. Right, I've got another wee bit here that I've cut out. I'll, I'll speak to you about how these came about. 
in a minute um, once I've concentrated sufficiently to actually sew them to my project. Give me just a wee second. Oh, wait a minute. I managed to. Got to get my leg around the tripod to sew. Cut that page right, that's that. Right, I'm gonna that's the only sewing I'm doing in this wee bit. So I'm gonna pause the video and move my sewing machine away so that it frees up a wee bit of room to let me do whatever I do next. Put that off, lift the pedal, put the pedal there because that's where it lives, and put the camera off. Right, so let's talk about what we're going to do here. Oh, here I should have sewn some lace or something on. That wasn't very bright. Oh well, not to worry. Right, um, I printed this picture on uh, fabric and I didn't know how to do that, but I watched a very good video, um, a couple of really good videos. The first one of which was uh, by Marie Blundell, who is uh, journals at number 29 I think it is Marie's Etsy shop is and Marie's very very good uh, she's you know she's brilliant when it comes to doing sewing type projects but she showed how to um, basically attach your wee bit of fabric to a sheet of paper using a spray glue I can hardly say glue never mind anything a spray glue uh, and then you run it through your um, printer and in an ideal world it goes through quite smoothly and in uh, touch wood mine's did so big thank you to Marie um, it's one of these things that I had intended trying at some point and as is always the case I see so much that I want to give a go to that I then see something else that I get distracted by and forget I was going to do it. Um, so it just so happened that I saw another video by Chrissy Crosser and Chrissy Crosser is really really good. Um, she does um, a lot of fabric work um, that's oh, you know I, I can't even imagine uh, how you do this kind of sewing and things like that but she also showed how she did it and it was pretty much how Marie did it um, and it reminded me of Marie's video and I thought oh, you know I really need to try that uh, so I eventually did get around in fact I'll, I'll tell you it took me so long to do it that when I picked up the, the can of scr uh, spray glue that I bought it had evaporated there was nothing in it um, I'd never used it, I just hadn't got around to it and it was completely empty and I was raging because of course by this point I'd decided I was going to do it so I had to order another spray can of glue um, I got the Crafter's Companion one, I don't know, wait a minute <coughs> crawl about the floor to look for it uh, Stick and Spray by Crafter's Companion I, I don't like Crafter's Companion but that's a personal thing um, that relates to the fact that the uh, they have a phenomenal control over television craft in this country to the point where um, it is virtually all you see is things that have got Crafters Companions name on it. You don't see an awful lot more and it's it's just it annoys me because when you only get one provider of things um, it, it, it just it, when there's no choice in what you're using for craft it makes life very difficult. Um, it really limits your creativity because everything begins to look like the same as everybody else is making um, and, and I get myself really wound up sometimes about um, I'm, I'm quite a political person 
and uh, I am by no stretch of the imagination could I be called a rampant capitalist, right? That, that, let me just put it like that. Um, so I am forever conscious of uh, share the love and see different products. It just so happens that I had to buy Crafter's Companion because it was the only name I remembered when I started going through the glues because I didn't want to buy the one I had bought since it had evaporated first time round. Um, so it's actually good anyway. I've only used it the once. I uh, printed a sheet. I think this is actually only something like the second image I've used for the sheet. But it's, it came out really well. I was quite pleased. Um, this was literally just using ink to print on another wee bit of the same fabric. And then obviously I've just sewn around that there the now. Now a lot of people, um, the, the best ink if you're stamping on fabric and you don't want it to come off is stays on. I don't like stays on. Again, it's a personal thing because stays on doesn't, not only does it not wash off any fabric, it doesn't wash off your stamp. So your stamp will forever bear the stays on ink on top of it. It won't impact it. If you say you use black, it stays on and then you go to print something using distress ink, you'll not see the black. The black will just be forever there staining the stamp. Um, you get a stays on cleaner, which I have, of course, I would have, because what don't I have when it comes to craft? Wait to see if I can find it. So I can't really get into this drawer because of where my seat's set up. Give me a second. Here we go. Stays on cleaner. Uh, it's a rubber stamp cleaning uh, cleaner for removing stays on ink and other solvent ink. Um, Rub, all, rub tip lightly against rubber stamp, wipe off excess, blah 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 blah. Uh, using a well ventilated area. I think it might be alcohol based in some description. I don't have a problem with it other than uh, you're told not to use it on um, photopolymer stamps. So if you've got a clear stamp, say like this one that I've bought from uh, Finnebear, you wouldn't use stays on cleaner. To try and clean that. If you use stays on, it will be forever the colour that that stays on is. Um, and I don't like that because I like my stuff to look really clean. She says, and then she notices that every stamp she's got in her desk is stained. Um, is that stained? That's stained. That's certainly stained. I think that actually has stays on because I've got a, I, I must have, I went in to, to look for my stays on the other day because I thought I'll just use it to do this. Um, only I discovered that the only one I had in my desk was a, a I think it's an orange stays on. I, I must have thrown the other ones out, um, so I don't have them. But uh, I clearly must have done it at the point where I thought, you know, I'm never going to use them because I just don't like stays on. Uh, so there you go. Anyway, the the upshot of it is what I actually used to stamp was a clear. Where did we find it? There's the fine clear, um, which is a pigment ink, but it's archival, so it, in theory, should not fade. And obviously, I'm not going to wash this, uh, so we don't need to worry about that. No. Right, back to the matter at hand. So that's that's my first page for the book. Uh, my husband's just come in the front door, by the way, so I know he's going to open that kitchen door in a minute and start talking. We any luck he'll work out that if the door's shut and doing something and won't blather away to me. Uh, right, so we're going to fold down the rest of the pages in this book and we're going to make... I mean these li literally are just wee bits of paper I had left lying on my desk to make another wee book at some point that would go in a junk journal. So that's what, exactly what I'm going to do with them. I'm just going to use a variety of the wee bits and bobs I've got on my desk to decorate pages and it will just go as a wee extra piece of ephemera in this book. Uh, some of these pages are clearly stained with blue, I think it was Stormy Sky I used, uh, blue distress ink and uh, what do you call it? What's the other stuff called? The, oh aye, Perfect Perils. Uh, so they've got a wee kind of sheen to them and some are done with um, vintage photo. So it's this and that. In fact, maybe I should mix them up a wee bit. Okay. 
they're not all the same height although you won't find that there will be any that are any less than I think the actual size of the page is just over you know in terms of height is like three inches uh, so there you go so we've got those pages together I have cut a wee piece of scrapbooking paper that I'll use as my cover and put that in and I'll sew that up so let's get decorating on the pages Right, there's actually a wee bit of stamping on that one already so I'm not going to do anything more to that Take the next page and we shall I'm just going to use that Versafine clear again Get baby bump out to wipe my stamps once I've done it Stamps I've got here are I didn't know where these came from, um, well I bought them but I couldn't remember what the name was in the packet but they're actually 13 arts I'm pretty sure because uh, they're all kind of Russian and things like that and I think 13 arts is a Polish company if memory serves me right mm. I was going to get my stamping pad out but I can't because I put my tripod in front of it so we shall just hope that we make a reasonable job of stamping that's fine it looks, it's a kind of distressed stamp anyway so it looks as you would expect got some text which is also part they, these stamps are really well loved these ones I've, I've, I mean I don't know I can't have had them that long over a year probably and in the grand scheme of things considering how many other stamps I've got I've not used them all the time but having said that uh, I have have had my use out of stamps I've got in this wee bit. There's uh, I've got quite a few thinner bear stamps that are quite small stamps. This is um, some sort of German text and it looks like kind of gothic writing. I need to watch how I do this because I don't want to. I'm not fussed about getting, um, getting an incredible quality print on this. All I'm really looking for is something to provide a bit of background interest to each of the pages. So I'm not going to put my heart and soul into stamping them if you get my drift. It's really just to give me a wee something. I still got black thumb from yesterday. I changed my ink cartridges. Uh, before I did the, uh, the the bingo card things that I did, so they're uh, it's just not coming off. And that's fair enough. I mean, I've had my shower and everything, and it's still not come off. But Give it a couple of days, it'll be fine. I mean, who's looking at my fingers anyway? Apart from yourselves. Yeah, this looks like another thin bear stamp. I'm never getting that off of that. Doesn't it matter, just. Now, I'm not, when it comes to stamping, I don't necessarily. Uh, this is only like you know intended for background because obviously at the end of the day you can write in these things okay. 
over my fingers. Oh, Daisy, don't whimper, darling. Um, I had to shut the door because the bin men came and she was just running about barking at them. Um, so I would never get anything done on the old film in front. Do you know, I think we'll stamp a different direction. Just to add to the interest. <coughs> Excuse me. I haven't done the tea yet and I've still got my exercise to do. Uh, by exercise, I mean I spend 15 minutes uh, on a treadmill type thing that my husband very kindly bought me for my birthday. Um, it's really just to keep, keep me going at my age. Uh, right, I've run out of stamps in this wee box anyway. Oh, shall we, we can open this. This is my new, that way I can open it, then I can shove it in there and I'll, I'll at least have given it home. Um, this is meant to be like crackled paint. Um, I've, and I've actually, I really do have a terrible cheat because I've already got a crackled paint stamp and I had seen one with uh, what do you call it? I had seen one on Stampin' Up that I thought I'm going to, I need to get that. Um, but it was quite pricey and it ended up that I saw this, which was only because it's very small, it was only $1.99. And you know what it's like when you see something that's not really all that expensive. You think, oh, that's an economy. Um, and you end up buying it. Which I think's, you know, it's, it's not a big issue, is it? Right, hold on. I need to tidy this up a wee bit because there's absolutely no way this is shut. Where did that come from? Oh, it came up here. I still don't think this will shut. Oh no, no. Right, that's fine. Uh, wait a minute. I'm going to reach across and get another wee pile of stamps. These are, uh, I've got these quite recently from some I think I've used, but not very many of them. Uh, I got these from, where do you call it? These are more Prima ones that I bought. does tend to stain. Get a wee itty bitty ticket. And I like tickets. Tickets and cards. Right, we'll call it a day I think on the stamp in front. Oops. Right, that will do us now. Shut my ink up before I shove my finger in it. Not that I need to worry because I can manage to shove my finger in it even when I am working with it. Right, that will do us. Uh, put that away in my drawer. Put the ink away in my drawer. I'll put the stamps away later because I need to stand up to do that. 
Right, what we're left with is uh, some things to stick on the pages to add interest to our book. And oh, I've got I've held on to this to to discuss this with you. I'm going to show you this thing. Wait a minute. If you have ever used sticky gems of any description, uh, Vicky unpronounceable name beginning with a P. I think it's Papianeo or something like that. She's a Greek lassie. She makes cards. She's on YouTube. Um, chances are you will have come across her at some point. But she had shown something of a similar nature, which is basically it's a pen that folk that do nails, you know, fingernails that put with gems on fingernails use. And it's like a wee sticky pen at the end. Um, so it'll just stick up things like sequins and whatever. So I got this from somebody called Cutty Pieces, which is on Facebook, but I don't have Facebook anymore, as you know. Thank you for shopping with me. I got it through eBay. Thank you for shopping with me. I really hope you enjoy using them. I bought four. Um, I already had one and misplaced it because I put it in the wrong drawer. I uh, couldn't find it and thought, I better order some of them. Um, for me, I thought I'd thrown it out and then I found it. So I've now got five and they'll last forever because they're longer than a normal pencil. You just sharpen them with a pencil sharpener. I really hope you enjoy using them. Presumably she sells more than just these pencils. Um, blah, 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 blah. I hope to see you soon, Jack. Please share your creations with me. Well, I can't, uh, Jack, unless you watch YouTube. Uh, but these are brilliant. Really, absolutely love it. And it's Cutty. C-U-T-I pieces on Facebook and Instagram and our username is Jack4528 on eBay. There, that's that. I just, you know, I don't know her for Adam, I've never spoken to her in my life. Uh, but I did quite like the product so I don't see any harm done in advertising it in that respect. I'm not making any money from it or anything like that. And, but anyway, right, we've got a wee bit of bits of ephemera here. We've got a wee bit of music. I have, uh, I've got a wee bit of acetate by the way that came from that. Remember the the thing when I did the, the map. Oh, that's back to front. Right, I don't want to use it on that page because that page has got lines on it. Uh, so I'm going to stick my wee bit of music paper to this. This is the first time I've used my Pritt stick. I had been using um, one of my local supermarkets equivalent separate stick and it um, just out the blue went all gloopy and I don't know if I'd left it opened or something and that's what caused the issue but I just I couldn't use it it was it was horrific absolutely horrific um, so that went by the way just going to stick some wee bits and bobs here. Got some wee stickers um, of typewriters and things. Again, I think these came from AliExpress. They just look like vintage. I'm going to try and peel them off. They're kind of vellum-y. That adds a wee bit of interest to a page. Got some a wee bit of Chinese, I think it might be newspaper. Uh, it came in a wee parcel from AliExpress and I quite liked it because I don't have anything that's Chinese. I just thought a wee bit of oriental writing, can't go wrong. Oh, it's upside down. Thankfully, I only know that because there's a number 24, it's not that I'm sitting here reading Chinese writing. Uh, oh, there's a number 12 as well. So I'll stick that down. It's not stuck very well. I'm going to take a chop of that at all. Right. Uh, now, what was I going to stick this on with? Oh, I know what I was going to do. I was going to use a bit of washi. can actually also come to think of it. I don't think it would do any harm. But a glue stick won't really leave much of an impression on the page. So in that respect, uh, this should blend in quite well. And it's 
the little bit of the map with Morocco and Algeria on it. And I'm just going to put some washer down the side just to ensure it holds it. Now, if you were going to write on this, what I would say is, say right, non acetate, it doesn't, it doesn't do it any favours. So I would use um, some sort of plate or something under it, so that you don't have an issue. And, you know, so that it doesn't press through into that. Yeah, that's fine. That's something different on that page. Um, Oh, this is a bit big for that. It's okay, I'll think about that some more before I... Oh no, no, do you know what I know? I'll do. Uh, get my... Bear with me. I'm going to make a wee tuck. So the first thing I'll do is I'll just basically I can make two tucks this way. Oh Daisy, I hear you. Give me a wee second, darling. Right, bear with me a second, darling. Daisy, get out to run about. Well, I timed that all wrong. Um, Daisy was whimpering because Billy had gone out the front door and come round the back to go out the back door. Uh, so I opened it just in time for him opening the gate, just as the wee man that washes out the inside of a wheeler bin shows up. And the dogs go bananas, banana -na 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 Right. I'm just trying to work out where best to cut this to make it fixed. I'm going to make this a top spot. Actually, the coat just that wee bit too short, but it's supposed to be the map, so I'll just, I'll just adjust that. Uh, glue. Now, I'll take advantage of that page and do the other tuck spot on this side. I like to try and make things precise. It doesn't always work out. Uh, I prefer, I don't like using scissors uh, because I'm, my judgement is appalling. Um, and it's, my, it's not so much my judgement's appalling. My judgement's fine. The problem comes from the fact that uh, if I don't cut things straight I can spot it a mile away and invariably my hands let me down because my hands aren't very good. Uh, still in terrible pain in my uh, knuckle and my forefinger and my right hand. I'm using my ointment, um, or sorry my balm, uh, Lisa, I'm using my balm. Uh, but she did say it, it does take a wee while for it to, to Kind of kick in, so um, we'll work away and hope that it comes out okay. Now I'm left with two wee tiny bits of paper there, but we'll use them for something. Uh, right, 
Uh, got another couple of wee stickers here I could be using, and it's one of those wee date stamp things. So we'll stick that on. I would quite like to get my hands on one of them, and I know you can buy them quite easily on uh, AliExpress. Are they not? Oh, I don't think they're overly expensive, but what I was wanting was, I was wanting one with older dates, you know, the ability to be able to type in uh, 19 instead of 20, as in 20, 19, I would sooner have 19, 19, right, I'm just going to get another wee bit of the Chinese writing that we'll add here. I don't know if I've got this upside down or not. I don't even know what it says, but I don't imagine it's... It won't be anything bad. I'm sure it will. Because it looks like newspaper. Um, probably just an advert for something. Right, we're getting to that situation where there's actually two or three pages left and all I've got is a wee bit of writing and a typewriter. Oh no, wait a minute, I've got these pages as well. Oh help, what have I done? Right, there we go. Back to the middle. Middle, 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 middle. Oh, stuck to my finger. Right, I've got some... Uh, oh, what's that? Hold on, I need to take my specs off to scratch my eye. Got some other stuff in the desk here I could be using. I've got like three. Well, you know, I like numbers. I'll use that. Put more than that. Uh, I'll use this glue because the theory is that this glue isn't visible. Well, I think you can take a pinch of salt with that with the amount that comes spewing out, but that might be my fault because I added water to it. Well, you might not get in now because you've gunked up the end. Yes, I have in fact gunked up the end. How does it feel watching this highly skilled crafter that can manage to make a mess of absolutely everything she touched? I don't know if this will fit through it, maybe too big. Just a wee bit of wire. In fact, I think it's my wee bit of wire that I use for this threading my needle when I get stuck. I'm just trying to get some of the glue off it because I know I've overdone it as always and it just as soon as you put it down on the page it will skew out the side. Right, let's see if I can get this. Just a piece of acetate. And it is spewing out a lot, but but not too much. It's okay. That'll do. That's fine. Right. So we've got the three. What else have we got? We've got some pretty flowers. Pretty flowers. Um, uh, 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 
Uh, uh. I don't know if this is going to work because it's so small. It doesn't work, it doesn't work. It's not as if it's going to be a great loss. I've just cut a corner of that to make it look like it's some sort of a kind of punched ticket or something. We'll run around the edge with a wee bit of vintage photo to make it look a wee bit older than it is. Stick that there and the glue will spew out the side. That's fine. Uh, right, that's that. I've got a, what do you call it, a little scrap of a cup, teacup with some pretty flowers. I'll use this. I, I'm literally using what's in my desk left over from other projects that I've been working on of late. And once I've cut something out, I tend not to put it away. It lies in my desk and in the hope that I can find a project in which to use it. And that's that's just what has happened here. Um right, we've got some more Chinese right in here. From this newspaper. We'll just randomly stick that in the middle. Do you know what would be good if I'd had a Chinese stamp? But I don't think I have. I might have a Korean stamp. In fact, I know I've probably got Korean stamps. Uh, I'll maybe get one of them out. I can't get it just now because I've got the thing me in front of it. Oh, hold on, there's a letter or something. What's oh, a... I don't know if it's a letter or a, a number. But we'll put that in. Which I try and work out what lid goes in what glue. This typewriter over on this page. Oh, there will be butterfly. We'll run round and walk away with a bit of vintage photo. That was my husband discreetly coming in to get his signs. Um, he's taken to decorating the fence with um, it's re replicas of um, old signage. I've shown some of them in a video before when we did a video of the garden but over and above that he's, he's taken to getting American number plates and he wants to get one from every state in America uh, and of course they're all they're real they, they're reflective so you're sitting at night you put on the lights to take the dog out the back and you're blinded by all these number plates <laughs> oh well right and oh we've got a wee ticket Moira, is there anything you don't have in your desk? No, not really. I'm a terrible mess. I really am. I'm very untidy. Oh, well, not really. I'm, I'm quite tidy. I know where everything is, generally speaking. Um, I just get a bit distracted easily. Right. 
I'm not fussed about decorating that. I'm going to have a tuck there. Brushes. This wee book's a lot bigger than I realised. Page there. And I've got a little... It's, it's a wee sticker of what looks like a piece of embroidery. Stick it there. It looks like a little blue allium. I'm just looking through it. Oh, I've got a minute. Oh, no. They're just plain tickets. Um, of course, they've still got some wee bits of fabric here that we could add. That's can't go wrong with a wee bit of lace or whatever, can you, darling? No, you cannot. In my back. The only, see the only problem when I put this down? There's absolutely no way under the sun I'm going to put glue in this and get it all down in one go without glue getting spewed out everywhere. Tweet and things. Oh, help. Let go, Moira, let go. I'm sure we can. Add some other fabric to this if we have a look at what we'll call it. Wee bit tea stained lace. Flattened down. If ever I saw anything that needed flattened down. It's very really curly with the way it's dried after the. What do you call it? After the tea staining. That's never sticking. Wait a minute. I don't think it takes much weight when I look and that'll do it. If that doesn't do it, where did I put my there it is. If that doesn't do it, I'll use some fabric tank. In fact I maybe should just use some fabric tank and cut the cut the nonsense, Moira, cut the nonsense. It's never going to work like that, girl. It's as if you had no education. I mean, good lord, you spent years watching videos. Did you take nothing on board? Sorry, sir. There we go. Right, we'll put that there again. Let me show you. There's no wee stamping acrylic block. I'm going to stick that on top. Oh. Right, now we need to sit for a minute till that dries. And uh, while we're doing that, actually, what we could do is turn this into a tag. I was going to look for a tag to use to cut the corners off but by the time I've fought through the mess I've made by pulling out all the things that I'm trying to tidy away. It's not worth the hassle. Uh, I need to be 
Do you think I can open my drawer wide enough? I doubt it. To get into my punch. Oh, I very much doubt it. No, nope, that's not happening. So we're going to have to open the crocodile. hole in the middle. We're as near the middle as we can work out. It is. That's us. And we shall put in our grommet or eyelet and crop that dial. That's us. Hope you can see me all right, by the way. I haven't actually checked in terms of visibility. If I'm in shot or not. See if I'm not, you can guess what I'm doing, right? Right, that's that. Move that out, right? Can I take that off you? Right, that's fine. Hold on, someone's just come in. Wait a minute. Are you want in to make a big drink? Well, I've been upstairs in, but I can't make one better. Aye, that's alright. On you go. I'm near done, son. It's okay. Alec, you never gave me your tumbler thing to wash. Oh, he's got one of those cups that you get um, to save the environment. You know, the ones with the... the you, you take them to Starbucks or the likes. Not that he goes to Starbucks, uh, but he takes it to his work, uh, or where he's working just now, should I say. And he'd been working on Saturday, had the cup at it, but didn't give me the cup to wash afterwards. Right, time to sew the little book. Time to sew the book, a look. Time to sew the book. Time to sew the book. Time to sew the book. Mummy's book. I don't think this particular thread fits this wee needle I've got. I'm not sure if it does or not. Not without a fight. Where's that wee bit of... There it is, my wee wire. Nope, that's not my wire. What did I do with the wee wire that I used to open my glue? Oh, oh my god, oh, it's... See, I knew it was somewhere. Dee, 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 dee. Dee, dee, dee. I don't know if that's fine enough to go through there. I don't think it is. No, it's not. That's thicker. We'll use the finer needle, the finer, finer beading wire. Dee, dee, dee. Dee, 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 dee. This could be how things take me so long. Let's see if we can get this through. That might not work. No, it's never working. It ain't working. Gonna have to use the bigger needle. I feel a bit like Crocodile Dundee. That's not a knife. That's a knife. Only in my case it's, that's not a needle. That's a needle. 
Right, there you go. Now, where did I put the cover? Oh, there it is. Right, we'll just try and check we've got all the pages the right way up. Sorry, it's gone all quiet. Right, let's have a look. Let's see if we can try and work out where the centre is. Oh, that, that's never going to go through. I'm going to have to get the pocket tool out. Bear with me. Right, let's This would be a lot easier if I hadn't put my camera over there. Oops, that's it. <laughs> I'll let you sneak about. <laughs> Do you know what? I've yet to see other folk making videos like mine. <laughs> oh. Right, to hang with that. Put my wee cover on now. Sorry, a dog's barked 14 miles away and Timmy feels compelled to answer it. Off the sides to make it fit better. There we go. We've got a wee kind of thing here to put on the other side. Just a wee piece of ephemera and that's us. 
Me pick. I'm quite pleased with that. No, it didn't go terribly smoothly. So, you know. And that's the blender. Right, that's us. Book's done. Right, so that's the first bit done. Oh, see you tomorrow and we'll try and tackle something else. Thanks for your time. I hope you've enjoyed this entertainment. <laughs> ah! Can you understand why I'm insane? Yes, I hope so. Anyway, see you later guys. Bye.